I'm going to describe the action-adventure movie named Big Game. Beware of spoilers. Take care and be cautious. The film begins with Oscar, a 13-year-old deer hunter, and his father, Tapio, looking at a wall full of picture frames of men dressed as deer hunters. Oscar picks out one of the picture frames that shows his father as a hunter when he was a teenager, after the man tells him that they are all his grandparents dressed as heroes. Ascari also wants to have his picture hung, but he must first go on a hunting mission to prove himself. Meanwhile, somewhere in Finland the Kimo's safari's helicopter is carrying three tourists who are actually terrorists. Hazar, their leader, orders the pilot to land the helicopter. After they land, the pilot realizes that the men he was carrying are terrorists. When they casually mention that they are going to launch the missile to shoot down a civilian aircraft the pilot is shocked. Now the pilot is aware of the incoming trouble. Hazar gave the helicopter pilot the order to run for his life. As the pilot starts to flee, the man takes advantage of the situation to practice using his missile lock system. When the helicopter pilot is about a mile away, Hazar fires a bazooka at him as a missile test. Hazar then informs his fellow terrorist that the missile test was successful via text message. When the hunting season begins, Tapio provides Oscar a map so that he can find the best deer hunting location. In order to assist Oscar on his solo trip through the woods, he also teaches him how to operate a quad bike. Now it's time for the test. In the mountains, Oscar puts his strength to the test by pulling on a bow string without an arrow, but he fails to reach its full strength. Tapio is upset that his son does not appear to be strong enough to use a bow for hunting. The deer hunting leader claims that he is not prepared to be a deer hunter. Tapio disagrees with the hunting leader, who believes Oscar should return home and not continue his hunt. Tapio tries to convince the man that his son is prepared, that they've trained for this, and that Tapio is a skilled hunter, which he believes he has passed down to his son, so the other guy allows Oscar to continue. Following that, the leader makes a speech in which he informs Oscar that he has only one day and one night to go into the forest by himself. He must return with a deer as evidence to prove himself. Oscar then starts hunting with his quad bike through the woods. Meanwhile, aboard Air Force One, U.S. President William Bill Moore is on his way to the pre-D-8 summit in Helsinki, which is 45 miles away. Suddenly, the control room receives a warning that an incoming missile is heading towards them. However, due to the jammed controls, the plane and jet escorts were both unable to take defensive action. Morris, the president's personal bodyguard, requests for an emergency evacuation right away. The president was immediately rushed to an escape pod, which deployed safely. While the other service agents are parachuting down from the plane, the one remaining agent inquires why their parachutes aren't opening. Morris pulls out a gun and shoots him, and then puts on his own parachute and drops down. The missiles fly past Morris and strike the Air Force one a few minutes after he parachutes down. Meanwhile, Oscar who's alone driving his small tractor through the woods sees the bright light flashes in the sky. In horror, Oscar flees the bright light, which is actually the downed Air Force One on fire. Its debris came dangerously close to hitting Oscar. Now, at the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., a woman informs everyone that Air Force One has crashed and the president has been evacuated in an escape pod, with no communication or signals. The vice president claims that it may be a mechanical failure, which is highly unlikely, but CIA Director Fred Herbert claims that it was a terrorist attack. Herbert suggests that the only thing they can do is find the president and bring him home. Morris then parachutes down into the woods and, after revealing himself to be a traitor, informs the terrorist that the plane has crashed. Oscar then notices a pod and approaches it with caution, throwing a rock at it but it doesn't move, so he creeps closer and knocks on the door, which is answered by a knock. President Bill writes the combination, which is 1492 for opening the door in the moistened window. After entering the combination, Oscar flees, believing that the pod came from another planet. Bill goes outside and yells, show yourself. Oscar appears and suspiciously points his bow at him. When Bill claims to be the President of the United States, Oscar demands proof that he is not an alien, to which the President responds that he is from Earth. The President then shows his passport to prove his identity. Oscar now believes in him. Meanwhile, back at the Pentagon, they've tracked down the president's escape pod and are dispatching helicopters to find him. Somewhere, a farmer in Norway notices the beacon landing outside his farmhouse. It's the tracker for the escape pod, which appears to have separated. The helicopters arrive shortly after, but when they search it, they discover that it is not in pod. Back at the crash site Morris, Hazar, and their men found the escape pod. When Hazar opens it, it is empty. 
Bill wishes to drive his small tractor to the nearest town, but Oscar refuses to let him. Instead, explaining that he's a hunter and he'll keep him safe with his bow and arrow. Oscar drives and instructs the president to sit in the vehicle as they travel to the location marked by an X on his map. Morris notices the small shoe footprint and assumes that someone assisted the president. When Hazard inquires about the whereabouts of the president, he goes and shoots two of his men, promising Hazard that he will deliver the president to him. Hazard paid Morris to betray the president. When Bill and Oscar arrive, he describes the location as a perfect hunting spot. They will camp here until morning. Oscar talks about his father, who is famous in the region for being a powerful hunter who hunted down a bear when he was 13 years old. At the age of 13, every boy is sent into the woods to kill something as a test of manhood. Next morning it's Oscar's birthday, and it's time for him to go hunting. Oscar imitating deer noises awakens Bill, who is shocked by the sound. Oscar notices a shoe, which fell when the AF-1 was shot down, he throws it at him before continuing to climb the mountain while making deer noises. He notices a large freeze box. When Oscar opens the freezer, he finds the dead deer, and a note attached with the arrow. The note wishes him a happy birthday from his father. As Bill climbs through the rocks, he notices his three dead men, it appears that someone tampered with the parachutes to prevent them from opening. Bill observes Morris and Hazard as they discover the campsite. He is now aware that Morris betrayed him. Bill takes the gun from a dead man and hides behind a rock. Bill realizes that his plane has been shot down, and Morris and his men are on the hunt for him. When his father kills a deer for his birthday, Oscar is disappointed. Oscar informs Bill that his father really didn't believe he could do it by himself, he is not yet prepared to be a hunter. Bill then places a badge on Oscar as a reminder of his rescue and protection. He told Oscar to go separate ways in case he is being pursued, but Oscar is concerned about his safety. Morris then approaches them quickly. Bill attempts to shoot Morris but fails to cock the gun. Morris is able to defeat Bill. The president shouts at Oscar to run for the sake of his life. Meanwhile, at the Pentagon, they spot the terrorist helicopter and follow the path to the president, they discover the president and terrorists known to one of the president's secret service agents. Hazard then forced Bill into the freezer. Oscar, on the other hand, watches over them and the president being placed in the freezer. As the helicopter pulls the freezer, Oscar leaps from the cliff and makes his way to the freezer. The pilot sees a boy who is trying to save the president by hanging on the freezer. It lowers its altitude to remove the boy from the box. Oscar loses the freezer but manages to pursue it, cutting the rope and allowing it to escape. Morris shoots them from the helicopter, and Oscar flees to the freezer. The freezer lid kept bullets from raining down on them. Just as Morris gets to the ground, Oscar and Bill decide to roll down the freezer into the cliff. They then found themselves in the middle of the lake. Bill and Oscar both believe they have lost them. They soon discovered the wreckage of Air Force One nearby. The Pentagon staff also discovered the Air Force One crash site, and the vice president quickly gave an order to give new coordinates to the Navy SEALs assigned to find the president. The vice president also notices Herbert secretly texting something on his cell phone. Herbert gives Hazar the coordinates of the crash site, and a plan to assassinate the president. Bill and Oscar see the helicopter approaching and manage to get into the wrecked plane. The plane inside is almost half submerged. They then hear pounding and creaking coming from the roof. The explosive was suddenly blown to the roof, allowing Hazar to infiltrate the plane. With six minutes left, Hazar sets up a bomb and asks Morris to help him climb up. Morris, however, betrays him by severing the rope, placing Hazar in a trap with the president and the bomb. Bill and Hazar's fight is progressing. Hazar strangles Bill to death, but Oscar punches him in the head. Hazar then attempts to shoot Oscar with the same gun that Bill used and forgot to cock, but he also forgets to cock it. Bill kicks him, and he throws a gun at him, allowing him to shoot Hazar. Bill and Oscar manage to escape the plane by ejecting from the pilot's seat, with nearly 90 seconds left in the bomb. Morris, in the helicopter, is in front of them as they deploy the parachute with their seats. Oscar then shoots an arrow at his chest. Morris falls to his death and accidentally fires at the pilot. The bomb goes off shortly after. Meanwhile, in a deer hunter's camp, the U.S. Navy SEALs hold the hunters hostage until the president is reportedly alive. They then notice the parachute landing in the background. At the top of the rock, it's Oscar, followed by Bill. Oscar introduces the president to his father, and the other hunters notice that the president is in the newspaper. 
everyone in the Pentagon is celebrating the president's rescue. Herbert walks away, looking distressed, and the vice president follows him into the bathroom. He reveals that Hazar has known him for 15 years, and that he is a former CIA agent. Herbert kills the vice president by shoving him in the feet, in order to avoid being tracked down. However, before leaving he places some liquid soap in his shoe, and on the floor to give the impression that the vice president slipped on the floor. The film concludes with the hunting leader photographing Oscary and Bill. The press recognized Oscary as a hero for saving the president. The newspaper article about Oscary saving the president is framed in the cabin with all the other photos that Oscary was looking at in the beginning of the movie. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and please subscribe for more videos like this.